in uh, Kilmarnock at the bridge at Rickerton. There's a lot of disputed stories about whether William Wallace was from Eldersley in Renfrewshire or whether he was from Kilmarnock. And the records mostly show that he came actually from around this very area here. It's just to the parish of Rickerton, which stands for Richardstown at some point, renamed. And there's a plaque up here called the Bickering Bush. Now, the Bickering Bush was a, a description, description that came about after um, this was where Wallace was cut down, and um, when he was fishing, he was harassed by some English soldiers. I'll just read out what it says on the plaque. In 19, sorry, in 20, 1290, while the young William Wallace was staying with his uncle Sir Richard Wallace in nearby Rickerton Castle, he had his first con confrontation with the English. Returning home from a day's fishing in the River Irvine, the River Irvine's just over that, the, over the wall here. He was challenged by six English soldiers who tried to take his fish. Using his fishing pole, the unarmed Wallace slew one of the soldiers and using the fallen soldier's sword, killed another and then seriously injured the other four, causing them to flee. The spot where the skirmish took place was marked with a hawthorn bush, known as the Bickering Bush, which was cut down around 1822. A pub stood nearby until the 1980s and was known as the Bickering Bush. I remember the pub that was here and uh, I think it actually was uh, subjected to a fire at some point and we then later built a flyover on the, the, on the mark, mark to mark the spot so it's somewhere around here that uh, William Wallace was actually sitting happily with his, I think he was with, sitting with his brother fish fishing and then those soldiers who were in occupation in this area at that time um, decided to uh, cause him trouble because they could Defenses. Obviously, William was probably out fishing to bring fish home for his family. He wasn't just doing it as a hobby. And James is here to say a couple of words about that. Yeah, um, I'm going to uh, give you a few facts about William Wallace now because basically, we I've, I've read into history for 30 years. I've le read lots and lots of history books with all the differing stories about William Wallace. But today, I'm going to do something very important. I'm going to just tell you about the known facts. Now, when William Wallace and Andrew Murray fought the Battle of Stirling Brink, after they had defeated the English at Stirling Brink, there is a very important document called the Lebec document sent to Lebec in Germany. In this document, it clearly states that William Wallace was the son of Alan, Alan Wallace of Ayr. Now, this is a legal document. It's not fiction, it's a legal document. He was clearly the son of Alan Wallace of Ayr. There was also a battle that took place in Glasgow called the Battle of the Bell of the Bray. Now in that battle, the Battle of the Bell of the Bray, the uncle of William Wallace was actually a guy called Adam, Adam Wallace. And it's clearly stated that in that, that Adam Wallace was from Rickerton, right here, Rickerton. Now, Rickerton as well, when you look into it, Rickerton was formerly called Ellerslie, E-L-L-E-R-S-L-I-E. -E -E. Hence the association with a place in Renfrewshire called Ellerslie. All the evidence would seem to point out that Wallace's roots are in Ayrshire. It was, his family were from this area, which is Rickerton. The name Rickerton comes from Richard Wallace, his other uncle, his two uncles, Richard Wallace and Adam Wallace. And his dad, as I say, was a guy called Alan Wallace. The facts are there for anyone that wants to see it. His roots are here in Ayrshire. Thank you very much. I would just like to bring one other point to that, is that Rickerton Castle uh, was where his uncle stayed. Now, he wouldn't have been staying there unless he was actually the holder of the castle. And there's, um, so my suggestion is that R William Wallace is probably from reasonably high nobility. In this area, there's at least six or seven different castles very near to here. So I would imagine it'd be quite a hostile place to live. The land would be very, very clearly defined. And we're just going to go up to a place that was once called Kilmarnock Castle until it was gifted to the boys after their um, help at the Battle of Bannock Farm. Land boys were then able to build a really sizable keep there. So we're just going to go there just now and um, be able to see that.